is this Wednesday morning right here in Singapore and to tell us more about what we can expect to see we're joined by Dr. Abel Young from the Department of Physics at the National University of Singapore. Thanks for joining us Dr. Young. Dr. Young, just for some context, I'm going to bring up the last solar eclipse we saw in Singapore back in 2009. Uh, in fact, contrary to what people think, solar eclipses aren't that rare, is it? Uh, you know, give us a sense of the numbers here in Singapore. Well, there's been about 70 solar eclipses since 1800, and from now till 2100, we'll be expecting another 31. Right. So that being the case, why is this uh, upcoming one on Wednesday uh, such a significant one? Well, the last major eclipse was in 2009, and as we, have, as we can see, there's about 70% mm -hmm. of the sun being covered. Uh, the one on Wednesday will have 80% of the sun being covered, and the last time we had 80% of the sun being covered, that was in 1998. Right, and there are going to be some key timings uh, to take note of, isn't it? Uh, let me just bring that one up. So the first viewing should probably be around 7.23? Yes, that's right. So at 7.23, the moon will start to... Uh, come in front of the sun, and that's what we call first contact. And it will gradually pass in front of the sun, and at 8.23, we have the maximum eclipse where over 80% of the sun will be covered. And this will continue, the moon will continue moving until about 9.23, when it finally leaves the front of the sun. Right. Uh, let's go, go into the science uh, behind this, uh, Dr. Yang. Uh, you know, the, the solar eclipse, uh, is something that is, is, is quite difficult to explain. Uh, would you uh, kindly do us the honors? Okay, so the moon usually uh, orbits uh, either on top or below our line of sight mm. to the sun, but sometimes and we get the moon coming in front of the line of sight. Mm. And this is, if we have something like this, it would be something perhaps like an annular solar eclipse. If the moon were to be a bit closer, we would get a total solar eclipse. Mm. And that's what uh, people in Indonesia would actually see. Right. But since we are north of Indonesia, we actually miss this by a little bit, mm. and we get that 80% obscuration right. instead of 100%. And just to get it right, uh, this is what happens uh, within the solar system. This is what viewers uh, would actually see if they were out there. Uh, which brings me to the next question. Where should people be going if they want to get the best seats in the house? Right, so what's happening here is that uh, the eclipse will happen in the morning, and that means you'll see it in the east. Mm. So the best place to see it would be somewhere where you can see the sunrise, right. perhaps an east-facing balcony, mm. or if you really want to go for the best places, no horizon obstructions, you would want to go somewhere such as East Coast Park, or perhaps even Marina Barrage, where you can see the sea and there's right. nothing in front of you to block your view of the horizon. Mm, Changi, uh, could, could Changi be a good place as well? Well, you might get a bit of uh, obscuration from uh, Pulau Takong, right. but uh, it may actually work. But the best seats in the house still in the East Coast. East Coast. Fantastic. Uh, now, there are instances where you need to uh, be aware of the safety measures because looking at the solar eclipse uh, carries some danger as well, isn't it? Uh, yes, because the sun is very bright, it gives off uh, ultraviolet and infrared rays that could uh, damage your retinas. Mm -hmm. So you will need some uh, safety... Something like this one. Safety uh, precautions, such as either solar filters, such mm -hmm. as these, or uh, you could view the sun indirectly through the use of a pinhole camera, such as this, which uh, projects the image of the sun onto mm -hmm. a screen. Right, it sounds like getting a, 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 you know, a solar film is more accessible. Just very quickly, where could people get something like this? Well, uh, there's, they're probably sold out by now, but uh, there, there is a, an event at uh, the National University of Singapore on Wednesday morning, and we will have uh, solar viewers to uh, give out to the public. Sounds fantastic. All right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Yang, for coming on our show and sharing that with us. That was Dr. Abel Yang from the Department of Physics at NUS. Back to you, Don. Right, so it's not safe to view an eclipse through it's your not. sunglasses at all. <laughs> I just learned that today, in fact. Yeah, or through, I imagine, through a reflection of a mirror. Not at all. All right, so moving on. The National Parks Board is looking for consultants